This patient is 74 years old. Uh, he's got hypertension, family history. He had an abnormal stress test, has angina. Uh, the uh, stress test showed inferior ischemia. And he's had a history of PCI to his osteo right and his mid circumflex. So the, the, his physician tried to treat him and could not uh, get the obtuse marginal open. Sent him here for me to get, he could not open, uh, get full dilatation of the balloon. Tried to put a stent in, the stent fortunately wouldn't go, so he gave up on the circ, which was the right move, I think. Um, so but I'm gonna show you his right. I, um, initially I thought this would be a really great rota for the right. Until my, until my fellow was told, explained to me that these were stents, not calcium. <laughs> so I thought what we'd do with this is just open it up, and if it comes back, do brachytherapy. That's how I would do this. Um, and then this is the circ, which doesn't look that bad. Now, you can see the stent in the circ, which is just beyond the bifurcation. Uh, so that's actually already stented for us. So that's kind of that's nice. Look at the LAD. That looks like it could use an FFR, right? The mid LED. Maybe we'll add, maybe we'll add that to the case. But the t the primary target is the on is the first OM, which is calcified. And we thought they couldn't cross it uh, and dilate it, so we thought we'd rotoblade it. So let's discuss that for a second. Uh, is that a uh, you guys think that's a good rotoblader candidate? That OM? Do you think it needs to be treated? Yeah. Yes, yeah, I think it needs to be treated, and I think it's a, it's a good rotor place because the g person before could optimally dilate yeah, the so lesion. Undilatable lesion, so you have to do something different. Okay. Um, I don't know if anybody would try a laser for that. I, I, I found that the rotoblader is the way to go for these in my yeah. career. Um, the other, you know, we, a cutting balloon first to see if it would dilate. There are other things to do, but I think rotometer makes a lot of sense here. The distal vessel, uh, his, his distal vessels are pretty lousy. That's why it didn't get bypassed, I suspect. Let's take this back now and do the same picture make sure we're okay. So well, that's another Better lesion Better, happier wire. Say again? Good. Now, what about that other lesion? There's lesions everywhere I look in this case. There really is a big vessel down there, isn't it? Yeah. I, I don't think I appreciated earlier how big that distal territory was. What am I going to do? Stand all the way down there with my wire tip? Oh, boy. I think you almost have to treat up to where the radio opaque part of the wire is. Yeah, so you have to get your wire out distal. And, <coughs> and you want me to burr that as well? Hmm. Maybe not burr it, but at least... Uh, yeah, hmm. yeah, I see your point. I mean, I, I, how, I didn't appreciate that either. That either. We can't see real well. All right, well, let's, I think we're just going to burr the top part, right? So we'll, we can play yeah, with the wire later. I think later. at least get that out of the way. 